Hello again. We are back, and if you were not here in the last episode, we were getting to settle a couple more final cities before we can hopefully finish this tourism game. We are kind of crushing on the culture at the moment. It is turn 128. I wish I had a little bit more, but we did, you know, have some early wars. What the what a what the what? As well as early barbarian shenanigans that we had to deal with. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. So getting caught up from there was really nice. I might have to bump my ranking up for Canada here. Because like, look at our capital. Four amenities, 17 out of seven housing. Like look at our yields in this city. Like, ah, like come on. Like, oh, what an incredible city. I, I Like obviously there's a caveat. If you don't spawn in a tundra spawn as, as Canada, then it's not gonna do as well. But man, what a good, like this is such a good start for us, so. We're gonna continue here. I'm gonna start getting national parks up soon-ish. We have to get Reformed Church. I should have grabbed Theocracy like 20 turns ago, but I forgot for the cheaper faith purchases. So we're gonna grab Theocracy and then we're gonna go right into conservation. We are gonna boost a few of these here. So we're gonna boost natural history. I don't think we're gonna actually boost conservation, but it's okay. Ha! Huh! Oh, who do you go to war with? Oh, Peter declared war on Norway. Okay, well, that's fine. Are we at war with any city-states? Just Zanzibar? Okay. Well, I guess we're fine then. Continue chopping out settlers out of this city. Let's go settle this city here. Oh, I mean, at least we found Peter. We'll make friends with him in 10 turns. Not too, not too worried about that. I don't know where he's at. There's Zanzibar. Is that him right there? That might be him right there. No, oh, is that everybody? Oh, that is everybody. Oh, yeah, I... I forgot I killed... Well, I didn't kill Coupe, but I kind of killed Coupe. Not 100%, but basically, I arelled him. And let's go switch over to Theocracy. This is pretty important, taking Theocracy. We want those cheaper upgrades. 50% discount on purchases with Faith. We should have had that all of last game, but <laughs> I didn't because I'm an idiot. I'm not, but... I will take out Serfdom just temporarily. I want to put in Diplo League so I can first time send to Leventa. So we'll lose a little bit of yields here, but let's first time send to Leventa with Diplo League in. And I'm gonna put the rest of these into Kaguana. Let's see how much our, our culture shoots up. Three, all right. <laughs> I'll take a lot more. Oh, we can start getting hockey rinks, huh? Oh, let's go. Okay, let's continue. Let's get these cities going. Coupe made peace with Mexico City. He didn't kill Mexico City, he did it. Get wrecked. Nice try, Coupe. Nice try. Oh, it needs to go right here. Uh, I'm not settling this yet. I need to put down... I need to put Serfdom back in before I settle that city. Can I just do that now, actually? I have enough gold. Yeah. <laughs> we can just do that now. Okay, let's settle. I need to put down a hockey rink right here, too. Uh, but before that, I should probably... I don't have any floodplains, right? Because there's no... Yeah, so I should probably start... Whoops. Designating where I'm going to be putting... National Park Tiles. Yeah, that's fine with me. That's a lot of National Parks. That will allow me to get another ice hockey rink here. The city can get an ice hockey rink right here. The city can get their ice hockey rink here. Um, does it have to be on Flatland? Okay, we'll put ice hockey rink right here for this city. Vancouver can get their ice hockey rink here. You'll just get yours, like, right there, I guess. Okay. We could also get a national park here as well. The nice thing, man, the nice thing about playing Canada is now I don't have to, like, you don't have to worry too hard about getting enough faith to get national parks because you can just build them if you need to. Like, if you're having, if you're having struggles on faith, which we're only making 94 faith per turn, so we really don't need to worry too hard about, oh, am I going to be able to buy enough naturalists? Because we can just buy mounties. That's all we need to do is buy mounties. That's a lot of national parks. That should be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna buy these tiles away from him. I know that's a lot of gold that I just spent, but I don't care. I do kind of care, actually. Peter, 105 science. What are you doing, bud? It's a lot of science. I don't appreciate it. Do I have any other chops? Yeah, we can undo both of these and then chop those two tiles. Ooh! Okay, hold on. We're already trading. Who are we already trading with? Gilgamesh and Simon Bolivar. Can I trade with the Ottoman? I can. Okay, that's... Yep. Trade from there. 
We need to get trade routes with everybody, so that way we can get the tourism boost. Speaking of, how are we doing on tourism? Of course. Of course he's he's winning. Not by a lot, though, actually. Surprisingly enough. He's not winning by a ton. But, of course Peter's winning. Of course Peter's in this game, too. I hope you all kill Peter. Make him irrelevant. Please. That is going to go to the Ottomans, correct? Yeah. Oh, I can also trade with him from there, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It's turn 134, Harold. Why Why do you love sheet metal so much? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh he doesn't want it back? Oh. I can't scam him so hard. Oh, he wants it back. Okay, we can't scam him. Never mind. <laughs> we can't scam him. I think we lost a little gold per turn there. Oh, no. What am I going to do about it? Okay, we can make friends with Suleiman. Let's do that. Grants a free trader in this city. Okay, yeah. I'd rather have this than use it. Okay, yeah. That's perfect. I did say I want to trade with Coupe as well. Nice. And another settler. I think that's my final settle, right? Oh, no. There's one more up here. Final settle for this city, I should say. So move Magnus up to Valleyfield. And just get a settler from there. Easy clap. God, I have so much gold. I have so much gold. What do I save my gold for? We don't care too much about Leo. I know what I should get, actually, while I'm here. I should get an archaeologist. But I would like to get Gustav Eiffel and or Filippo Brunelleschi. We are going to need them for purchasing... Sorry, for building Eiffel Tower, I should say. Let's go. Okay, so there's Peter right here. So I was right. That is Peter. He's got big borders. How many turns do we have left with him? Three turns. Perfect. Uh-oh. Gilgamesh declared war on Suleiman. We don't like that. Okay, this is also going to go to Maori. There we go. Do I just faith buy? I might just faith buy the settler out of here. Or maybe just faith buy builders. I need to get... Okay, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to start faith buying a bunch of builders now. Because I need to get them out to start getting national parks ready. Because once we get those... Once we get conservation out we need to start planting trees so we can start using our hey our appeal to get national parks no okay say goodbye to that galley that galley is super dead let's go missionary scouting water water like retba where is that at right here okay cool 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 bye bye sayonara au revoir all those goodbye things uh sure let's just put it right here i'm very excited i'm very excited to get these mounties going I think I'm just literally going to straight up gold buy a Mountie. Okay, I think we can make peace now, right? Yeah, let's make peace. No reason to be at war. We weren't even at war in the begin with. It's just because they declared war on each other. So <laughs> who else can we trade with? So we've got trade routes with uh, Suleiman, the Ottoman Empire, Simon Bolivar, and Coupe. Can we go Norway? No. Can we go Dido? Russia? Nope. Okay, not yet. Let's get open borders with him as well. We need to get open borders with everybody for the tourism bonus too. Thank you. <laughs> His poor cities over here. <laughs> His poor cities. <laughs> he got harrelled so hard. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Unless? Seven? Ooh. Ah, let's go. It is time. Like I said, I'm straight up just going to buy one. I don't, I don't care. I don't even care. I don't give a heck. We got a Mountie. We'll make a national park there. Uh, we can start planting woods everywhere now, however. And then let's go right into enlightenment, into civil engineering. All right, let's get our first national park. Woo! We're going to get another golden age here so easily, too. Getting national parks is, like, probably one of the easiest ways to get a golden age. Plus, that'll give extra appeal for this national park as well. How much is a Mountie? 490. So this is what I had mentioned in the beginning of this series, is that with Theocracy in, it only costs 490 faith to fa to purchase a Mountie, whereas a Naturalist starts off at 510 and just increases in price exponentially, whereas you're just going to get a Mountie that can create two national parks for 490 faith each time. Each time. There's going to be no changing. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going to take out Merge Confederation. I want the amenities. But what I can do is use my gold to buy buildings that are needed in these cities, such as this granary, this wa this temple, or sorry, watermill, a city's lighthouse. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna faith buy a mounty on the next turn, and then we'll start buying. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, 
start buying traders is what I meant to say. I don't know. What don't I have? That's a good question. Well, before we do that, let's get this one here. Another national park. Thank you. Now, Mr. Mountie, you can just go explore. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> what I can do, however, is uh, faith buy another Mountie right here. We'll create national parks right here. Is this going to be part of Quebec City? I think so. So let's give... Yeah, we can chop this. We can chop that. How are we doing now on tourism? 9 out of 127. Turn 142. I think this might be a sub... I mean, it depends on how well Peter starts doing. He might just start doing Peter things and going absolutely bonkers. Like, that is a big possibility. You know, this might... This literally might be all of the city-states that are left in this game. Because we saw a bunch of them die. <laughs> Early on like a lot died early on in the game and I would not be surprised if that's all we have left we got Another national park <laughs> These national parks these national parks are gonna this is gonna be ridiculous like we're gonna get We're gonna fly through these so fast. It's not even gonna be funny I'm sorry, I can't stop I can't stop. Oh no, here we go. Niter? I hardly know her. I feel so bad doing this. Like, I literally, I like... <laughs> okay, I, I don't feel bad doing it. That's a lie. I'm sorry. I take it back. I don't feel bad doing it at all. I mean, I kind of do a little bit, but also not really. I feel like I'm like lying to myself when I say that. <laughs> when I say I mind. <laughs> or when I, when I say I don't mind that I'm doing this. How many turns do we have to the next era? 22. God, we have so much. Yeah, we have a lot to do still. That's okay. We still got a little bit of time. More national parks? Yeah, let's actually grab one right here. Can we do this? Where did that Mountie go? I thought I just bought one. Didn't I just... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> just kidding. Ignore me. Yep, we're going to start undoing all of these beautiful, beautiful yields. But I can actually just yes, use Oh, that was the wrong city to chop for. <laughs> I'm a smart man. I'm not. I mean, yeah, we can, I mean we can just keep doing that. That's a those are pretty good trades anyways because we are or we are a research ally with him and so that does help out actually like quite a bit to do that to uh to ally him. Sorry, god, what am I what am I saying? To trade with him. There we go. Okay, we should be able to trade with Norway now. What? Which one's better? This one here? Okay, let's, let's there we go. We'll get that trade going. How are we looking on great people? Pretty good still. So I think I just continue to buy more builders. Yeah. And then faith by... This is so nice. Like, literally, this is what I mean by Mounties being absolutely insane. Is that you can just... Faith by a new Mountie every 490 faith. And, like, especially if you if I leaned really hard into it and got, went like, Void Singers this game, for example, and then, you know, added more faith city-states to the game, you could just continuously stack an insane amount of faith and get, like, a, get, get a, a Mountie, you know, get, like, four to 500 faith per turn and just gain a Mountie every single turn. I don't know why I picked, I didn't mean to grab Liang there. That was actually kind of a mistake. Where am I going to grab a next national park at? Right here? Is there enough appeal there? Yes, there is. Undo. Uh, who owns this tile? I guess Halifax. There we go. I kind of want to settle a random-ass city over here. You know what, Coupe? On a scale of 1 to 10, no one actually cares. Am I too mean to Coupe, y'all? I feel like I might be too mean to Coupe. <laughs> Oh, I can get St. Basil's. Oh, we got to kill. Let's kill one. All right, we're going to kill. I'm going to kill one deer tile for St. Basil's. I'm going to do it. Oh, no. We lost one amenity. Oh, no. I killed a deer tile. I'm sorry. I apologize. Where's this next national park going to be? This one right here? Yeah, probably that one. Yep, we'll grab this one here. Do I not have enough peel? Oh, this one doesn't have any charges left. Why did it say one charge? Am I an idiot? Don't answer that. We'll just get this one right here. Yep. You'll grab this. I told you not to answer it. I could still get more national parks down here, I just realized. Now, how close am I to steel? 
Uh, we have a little bit here. We also need to get down to economics, too, as well as flight. God, we need so many things. Uh, oh, perfect. That's a good... I don't have any extra traders, right? But I can get one now. Okay, this one's going to go to Peter. That's another trading partner. So now the only person that we're missing trading with is Dido. No, go, you, go right ahead, buddy. You guys can go to war. I just care about conservation. Now we're already dominant over Maori. I mean, I, I'd hope, I'd hope that we were. <laughs> I'd really hope so. <laughs> we kind of destroyed him. Uh, I'm going to put one into Kaguana and Anmadal just for, for science, for safety. Yep. National Park. God. I really want to play a... So there is a mod called Civ Blitz, uh, if you have not heard of it. It allows you to mix and match civilization abilities. And I really want to play a mod with Teddy. Uh, like, Teddy's abilities. Uh, Bull Moose Teddy's abilities, I should say. Like, Teddy's abilities with Vietnam's feature, like, leader ability. So you can get uh, builders faster. On top of getting Mounties. So you can just use Mounties to get national parks. That sounds like an insane game. I really want to do that. Let me know if you guys want to see that in uh, in the comments below because I feel like that would be a really fun yet really unnecessary game to play. <laughs> like, we know it would be broken, right? There's no... It's, like, obvious that it's going to be broken and ridiculous. But I feel like that would be so much fun. Do I still have... Okay, I did it. Oh, man. Oh, he's actually doing really well for religion. I don't think he's going to win it. Oh, my God. He's gotten four out of eight? What? That's probably the most I've ever seen the AI do, <laughs> like, ever. Oh, sure, let's go grab that. Why not? Sure. Also, we're massively over... I told you that we were just going to overshoot era score this game. Or this era because of... Uh, because of National Parks. National Park era score go burr. Hey. Move. Move. Gilgamesh is seeking a culture victory. All right, you go ahead, bud. You go right on it. Get that culture victory, king. There's a nas national park right there. So this is another thing is that you can national park Halong Bay because it's a wonder tile. It doesn't count as a coast tile. That's the same with thing with like Lake Victoria, uh, Crater Lake as well. They don't technically count as like coast or water tiles. They count as like I, i'm guessing wonder tiles i don't know what the actual coding is if someone can tell me in the comments that would be great but you can national park them which is fantastic because national parked wonders are some of the best tourism that you can get in the entire game speaking of 29 out of 142 uh pretty decent we do need to get to steel and we do need to get to radio and to computers i hope we'll, hopefully our science can go, get a little bit better than this i guess it's just we send the rest of our excess trade routes like to uh to simon bolivar right for the research alliance boost. Okay, here we go. There's another national park. Nice. Please don't explode again. Uh, that's to non Madal. I think as much as I would like this 17 gold per turn, I want the extra science right now. I think that's just a little bit better. Oh, I'm building St. Basil's. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. I'm Is anybody else building St. Basil's? I should probably pay attention because I think he might be building it. Uh-oh. Okay, well, say goodbye to that missionary. Bye-bye, <laughs> buddy. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Oh, seven's in the chat. Oh! The best. He lives! He lives! I mean, he was just there to scout anyways, but... The boy who lived. Oh, someone got their city raised! I wonder if that was one of the city-states. Considering it's off-water right next to a... A coast, I imagine that that was a city-state. Do I have open borders with everybody still? I believe so. Nope. Good thing I checked. You always want to check. The reason why I'm always checking is because you want the extra tourism boost from open borders, which if you hover over Peter right here, plus 25% tr for trade route, plus 25% for open borders. Okay, see, this is <laughs> this is why I don't play with monopolies and tourism, or monopolies and corporations. Plus 231% tourism boosted from luxury resource monopolies. That's just broken. That, that's It literally is just broken. It's not fair. Where am I going to get another Mountie? Right here? Okay. All right, let's start making more national parks. <laughs> okay, so let's. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a farm here so it forces 
Do I not have enough appeal? Okay, we'll grab some more appeal right there. It, so sometimes it can be hard to force national parks. You have to, or to get national parks in specific spaces. You kind of have to force the AI to be like, okay, I don't want a national park here by building tile improvements, which is what I just did right here. I built a farm here so I can national park this instead of this or like, I don't even see, it was like right here or something like that or right here. And I want more national parks in this area. So I forced it to do the one that I wanted. Uh, where are we at on tourism, by the way? 41 out of 149. Wow, we are zooming. National parks are so strong, especially being able to spam out this many at this point in time. There we go. And it, you know what? You might be wondering what the actual requirements for a national park are. I do have a video on it if you wanted to watch. It's a quick little short video if you wanted to watch it. There are four requirements for a national park. Number one, it requires to be in a diamond shape like this, vertical diamond shape. So it can't be sideways, it has to be vertical like this. All of the tiles have to be owned by the same city. So as you saw, I was flipping tiles over here to own this by the city. So if I can, a good example is this right here. I would not be able to build a national park on this tile or on these four tiles here because only three of these tiles are owned by this city here and one of them is owned by this city. Now, if I swapped them all over like this, I would be able to build it for this city. Or if I swapped them all over like so, I would be able to build it into this city here. So that is two of the requirements. The third one is that it needs to be on a tile that is breathtaking or higher. So appeal wise, as you can see here, I have the appeal lens up. There are multiple modifiers for, or there are multiple levels of the modifier of appeal on the tile, which is that is what it is. Appeal is a modifier applied to a tile in your empire. Going from disgusting all the way up to breathtaking. Breathtaking is, uh, sorry, charming is three. And breathtaking is four and above. Jesus. How do our words good? So all tiles in the Nas National Park have to be at least charming and above, which is what we have here. If I wanted to, I can make one right there. And then the fourth one is that the tiles for the National Park must have no improvements on them. You can plant woods, but you cannot have any improvements inside that National Park. And those are all the requirements. Once you meet to those four requirements, you can build a National Park. Some people ask, I get that asked that actually quite regularly. And that is why I created a short on it, which like I said, you can find in my on my channel, in the shorts section. We'll build another one right here. Okay, that should be able to give us a National Park right here. It does. And then we'll build another one up here. This one also has a, okay. I'm actually gonna faith by an more builders here really quickly because we only have a, we only have so many more turns left in this golden age. Nine more turns in this golden age and we are doing a monumentality game. So we only have finite amount of turns left to faith by builders. 48 out of 161. We might have to start gold buying great works from Peter. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we are so overshooting era score. It's insane. Okay, that should be a national park right here. It is. Let's swap these tiles over. There's another national park right there. <laughs> 190 out of 157. <laughs> Did I overshoot era score or something? <laughs> oh no. I basically don't want to have to rely on rock bands at all this game. We're already a third of the way there. 50 out of 164. That's very important for me to not have to not need to use rock bands at all this game. Anti-rock band gang. If you or someone else you know has been afflicted by rock bands, please let me know. <laughs> please reach out. I hate rock bands so much in this game. Like, I already dislike RNG, especially in strategy games, and strategy-based games in general. But, like, RNG that just has, a one, a really annoying <laughs> sound uh, every time a rock band plays. Uh, and two, it's just RNG. It sucks. Like, I mean, I don't know. I just, I really, I really just like rock bands. How are our cities doing? Our cities are going to be very happy this game, by the way, because we are building so many national parks. Okay, let's just buy all these tiles away from him. Uh, national parks also give you amenities too. I don't remember how much. I think it's just one amenity. There we go. The city that owns the park receives two amenities and the four closest cities in your civ receive one amenity. So all of our cities, I think, are going to be ecstatic this game. <laughs> No big deal. It's fine. Okay, it's turn 160. Everybody get your bets in right now. What turn do you think I went on? 
I'm thinking it's going to be turn 182. I think turn 182. <laughs> no, same. Open borders. Got it. Open borders. Golden. The <laughs> city's <laughs> There's growing a lot. The city that pops seven now. Oh, man. We might be able to fit a couple national parks in here. No more charges on my mounties. I don't want to get rid of that. We might have to. How many turns left? Six turns. All right. 60 out of 160. We are climbing so fast. We're, we're going to... We are zooming so fast through this. Like, I'm not surprised, but it's still just like, holy heck. Okay, well, I, should, I probably shouldn't have done that yet. 196 out of 157. That's a lot of error score. That's a lot. Okay, there's a national park there. I could get one right here, too. If I get one there, and then I get one here. It's like, the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the same amount. Oh, actually, it's not. Dominant over Norway now. So, I mean, we just, all we have to do is get dominant over Peter. Well, obviously, that's how you win the game, Bose. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me. I'm fine. <laughs> there we go. We also need to get down to flight too. Okay, another national park there. Pog, Pog Champ. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes I really hate myself. <laughs> Where is it at? 69, 168. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, more builders. I think we only have four turns left till the next era. Yeah, let's just get more builders out. Thanks, Dido. You're so kind. Oh, nice. Give me Mexico City. I think I have a ton left to do with these builders, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Pretty much got like, yeah. We've got most of this covered, actually. Impressive. Okay, let's go down here. Did I get all of the the industries that I wanted to? Yes, I did. I, I, literally, I don't think we need any more builders, actually. I think I could use the rest of my faith on Mounties instead. Yeah, we can grab another Mountie out of here. Let's do that. 200, 205 out of 150. <laughs> I think that's pretty good, right? I think that's pretty, I think that's fairly decent. I could be mistaken, but I do believe that uh, that is a, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I'm starting to lose my mind here. Can I trade with Dido yet? I cannot. Okay. Do I still have trade routes with Norway, Sumeria, Ottomans, Russia, Maori? Okay, good. Anybody want this? No. Okay. I don't think we can scam anybody anymore. <laughs> it has been demonstrated. Oh, can I put raid in real quick? Oh my God. I can't. Let's do it. Yo, let's go. Okay. Let's get our alliance back. I think we had religious. Yeah, we did. We found a flip. Oh, that actually that actually is incredible. That actually works out very, very well for us. Am I running out of room for national parks? No way. I could get one here, but that means killing these deer. I might kind of have to anyways. You know what? It actually doesn't matter because... Oh my god. 13 amenities? Yeah, I think, I think I'd rather get a national park over here. Yeah, let's do that. Because we're, it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to make up the amenities with the national parks anyways, right? So it doesn't... Yeah, it really doesn't matter at all whether or not we... God, we have so much gold. Okay, hold on. I see... I should just... Yeah, let's just buy shit. <laughs> this game is very silly. 86 out of 172, over halfway done. Who else? So we ha we're almost over Simon Bolivar. We're almost over Gilgamesh. I think we're going to be over Simon Bolivar on this turn. Oh! St. Basil's. Nice. Is our relic inside our cap? It is. What do I do? Reform the coinage? Yeah. Nothing else is really going to matter there, right? All right, let's see if we can start gold buying some relics from people. Anybody have a relic that they want to give up? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Build Cristo Redentor. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, we built, we built one. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, so we have steel in 12 turns. So we're going to go steel right into flight, right into radio, right into computers. Can I pillage? I can indeed. Thank you. Are there any more free cities anywhere? No. I'm so sorry that I have to do this. <laughs> I don't want to get I don't want to get rid of the camps. I don't want to do it. I want to have them. They're beautiful. All right, so one, two. Okay, we'll get another Mountie. And I think that's all the national parks that I can make. Do I just want to chop? Nah, I still want to keep it. Yeah, let's just get a national park. Oh, I can't get one right here because there's a holy site. Oh, no. Okay, which one do I get instead? Then this one or this? I think I get this one right here. Dang, I could have planned that a little bit better, huh? I would have been able to only get the same amount. Like, we've gotten one here. Could have gotten one there. That's fine. Dang it, Bose. Uh, yeah, let's just go right into democracy then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go into democracy. Start running gunboat diplomacy so we can get the extra envoys. New deal. What a card. What a card. My favorite card in the entire game. Plus 14 amenities. Or, sorry. Plus 14 housing. No, that is amenities. Plus 28 housing. Whew! So good. And I guess... Aesthetics? Although, maybe this. Maybe run raw. Oh, let's run economic unit. Look at that. 42 gold per turn. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, where does this guy go, then, to make his last national park? Can I make one here? Oh, I can make one here. Okay. Thank you for continuing to, to <laughs> build on top of or re repair your campus for me. That's so kind of you. Are we going to build... Eiffel Tower before we even get to, like, Gustav Eiffel. Are we going to win before then? We might win before then. Let's turn 172, though. It says 16 turns. <laughs> Can I just attack into this and gain a little... Yeah, let's attack into it. Gives us a little experience. 16 turns? Oh, my God. Uh, where are we at? We're getting pretty close. Okay, we can do another pillage. I love that they just keep repairing the campus, allowing me to constantly pillage it over and over again. Okay, that's National Park. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Oh, that's a good market economy. A little gold per turn, but it gives us extra... I think I want to run that for the extra science per turn. Yeah, I do. Did I lose my missionary? I think I lost my missionary. Oh, no, it's still running around. Okay, there's three trading posts that were just created. Does that mean I can trade with Dido? <laughs> that's like all I care about. It's like, can I trade with Dido? No? Boo. Boo. <laughs> Are they saying boo or boo earns? Uh, boo earns. Yeah, I want the extra science. How are we looking, by the way? 131 out of 186. Oh, my God. We're going to win before we even build Eiffel Tower. Who is that? Oh, a scientific city-state. No way. Let's seize it. There are three things the children okay, they're all their steel. All right, there's another national park. <laughs> where are you going, Coupe? Huh? All right, where are we at? We are at 137 out of 187. We have rock pans in a few turns. It's turn 175. I, I guessed turn 182. I'm thinking still turn 182, turn 183 or so. There's another national park. I think... Oh, I'm going to faith by this. We don't even have... We can't even use him. I'm just going to... I just wanted to faith by him. I literally can't use him. Leonardo, you can go scout. Scouting Leonardo da Vinci. I can still build Eiffel. I think I, I'm looking and I do not... I literally don't see any other tiles that I can create a national park on. I think that is it. Uh, I mean, I could undo this industry and do one... Like, put one right here. You could put one here. But I want to turn those into seaside resorts. <laughs> We're probably going to win before that even is a thing. Okay. Stop that. That is not very cash money of you to attack me like that. 179. I said 182. Obviously, we're not like solely relying on national parks here, right? We have like a couple great works. Um, like that's not the only thing that is giving us tourism. We also have walls too. But the majority of our tourism is literally coming from national parks. Like, look at that. Like eight, six. We also have a couple wonders too. But the majority of our tourism is coming from national parks. Like, I'd say like 90%. A lot of the times in these games, people are like, oh, you have, you have a, uh, 
you know, you're supposed to be doing national park only and you have walls and stuff like that. The tourism that you're getting from walls and things like that is just is negligible. Like you're barely gaining any tourism compared to the massive amounts of tourism you're gaining from uh, just straight up national parks or do it like straight up rock bands, for example. No, give me back Iguana right now. Like if I was really wanting to optimize this and make this a little bit faster, I would have bought like every single great work that I could have. And we probably would have won like five to ten more turns ago. Or be winning like right now. Okay, hold on. Let's check this out. How okay, we can buy him too. Let's get Gustav Eiffel. Let's see if we can build Eiffel Tower before we win the game. Get your bets in. Are we going to win? Or are we going to win before we build Eiffel Tower? I think we are. <laughs> I think I think that's going to happen. Hey, stop that. What did, what did we even get here? Who is this? James Watt? Oh, okay. Well, we have steel, so it doesn't even matter. 173 out of 198. Oh, so close. I don't think we're going to win on turn 182. I think it's going to be like 187, 189. Right around there. I'm close, though. God, I love I love pillaging so much. <laughs> pillaging so nice. Uh, let's just get down to environmentalism as fast as possible. All right. Can I sue Zmitla right now? Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. I put it at three envoys and I fully sued Mitla because we ran containment and Diplo League at the same time. Uh, containment, each envoy you send to a city state counts as two if it has a different government than you, if the suzerain has a different government. And then your first envoy to each city state counts as two envoys. So we just destroy that. Oh, that's so, it's so nice. Uh, ooh, Dido. Nope. I guess we'll keep that going then. 177 out of 200. Oh, come on. Stop it, Peter. Stop that. <laughs> Peter, I said stop. Where is he at in the in the civic tree? Okay, he's nowhere close to it. He's I mean, not I say nowhere, but he's he's at ideology, which means we are getting like a little reduced tourism, right? Because of enlightenment. I guess that means I maybe I should have built Cristo. 184, 202. Come on, four turns. I don't know. <laughs> I want to see are we going to build are we going to build Eiffel? I still don't think so. I still don't think we're going to build Eiffel before we win. Technically, I could build it in five turns. So turn 180, 188. Oh, open borders. Important. You don't want to be friends? Rude. I thought the game was going to crash for a second. All right, well, there's Gustav Eiffel. We can, I can put in skyscrapers on the next turn. <laughs> Stop attacking me. It's so rude to attack me. All right, let's put in skyscrapers. One. <laughs> 198 out of 213. Oh, which one's going to win? Is it going to be Eiffel or is it going to be the game? This is the real test of time right now. This is the real, like, who cares about sub 200s? Can you win before you build Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, one more. One more. Shout out. Oh, I think. We built Eiffel before we won the game. I thought it was, I thought it was no way. I don't think it was going to be a, a way at all. Oh my god. Alright, where are we at? 212 out of 2. It was literally like one turn away. <laughs> are we going to win on this next turn too? <laughs> We're literally winning on the next... That's so... We literally win on the next turn. Oh my god. Alright, well, turn 188 technically from the Hall of Fame. <laughs> the worth of a culture. What a stupid game. Oh, uh, a culture go burr. Wait, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. <sighs> we did it. We did it. This was a really stupid game. Like, so, obviously, the scamming the AI doing the strategic resource ex exploit really helped us out in this game. It probably still would have been close to a sub-200. It might have been, like, a turn 210 or so. Even if we didn't strategic resource exploit, just because of the fact that we're going to get all of these national parks going uh, pretty damn fast. Like, I don't think it, I, it did help out a lot, right? We had like 150 gold per turn at turn, like, I think it was like turn 80 or 90. But even then, I think the start that we had, like with all of these camps around us, really just, it, even with the, out the strategic resource exploit, we probably would have finished maybe turn 199 maximum like turn 210 uh, canada's pretty good 
I'm still not going to put them in S tier. I think it might be a, a low A tier because of how spawn dependent they are. If you take them out of the Tundra, then they're kind of just a whatever sieve. You can get really good national parks with them, however. So if you have them in the Tundra, which, you know, if they, you are spawning with the bias that you, uh, that you should be, then they are a really, really good sieve. I mean, you saw the amount of farms. I mean, even look at this farm right here. Like, that's a crazy farm in the Tundra. Like, four food farms in the Tundra. You saw the farms in the mines that I had earlier. So, uh, also, let's look at our... Whoops. Uh, let's look at our appeal real quick. Ooh, is that good? Is that some good appeal? Woohoo! Fun game. It was a fun game. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We, it was a little broken. I mean, it's Monopolies and Corporations, right? We're getting plus 138 extra percent modifiers for tourism boosting because of monopolies. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. You can see a large number go burr. I also have a Discord if you'd like to join it. Is it the it is in the description. <laughs> link is in the description below. As well as a Twitter if you'd follow the Twitter. You get to know when I go live as well as whenever I post any videos. But with that, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.